Oh, <laughs> hello, people. My name is Kale Boss. Hmm? The only boss. <laughs> oh, wait, what this? Ah, have you heard? Wait, do you know that Tap Tap Send is live in Texas? Oh, you didn't know. We went to New York. Now we are live in Texas. So, people in Texas and around, all you have to do is to download Tap Tap Send. Yes, Tap Tap Send has become the most unique, secure, and fast way of sending money across the world to your loved ones anywhere. Okay? So, download Tap Tap Send on Google Play Store or App Store. And when you're in Texas or around, you just have to put in the code TXGH. What did I say? T X G H and you get ten dollars for your first transaction you make. Hey, but yeah, Mahama media, text us. You drew her very soon. We will conquer everywhere. Download Top Top Send now on Google Play and App Store. Top Top Send. It's secure, convenient, easy, and fast. <laughs> guys so it is afternoon already and i feel like to fire my report from london as i've agreed with my people that at least every day i have to make sure i send my report to them so this is the samiflex report from london once again live on samiflex tv and i know my editor richie flex is going to do the job by adding the necessary details that you guys have to know as much as uh, the show is concerned and i'm still here very close to tap tap send because this is their home base tap tap is based here and that is actually where my uh, connection with them started so if i'm here then i'm reminding you that even though i'm here i'm still sending money back home I'm still sending money to my workers, sending money to my family, sending money to people that are delivering some services for me here and there. Tap Tap Send is the best. Try it anywhere in the world and thank me later. Download the app on your phone. Remember to use the promo code SAMIFLEX. And when you do this, you are surely going to be fine. Once again, I want to do this with all the briefness that I can do with. I want to make it very brief because it is something that I didn't want to be a part of, but like I keep saying, sometimes it is all good for you to keep correcting the wrongs. Because when you keep quiet, you keep calm in the name of you don't want to be part of those who are spreading all the falsehood. The falsehood they are spreading becomes the truth. I still believe in that philosophy. And therefore, anytime I get the opportunity to spread the facts, I will. I want to talk about Olele Salvador's tweet on Shatawali and the fact that I think sometimes the kind of play we play in this industry and the intentions at which we do this play can be deadly, can be treacherous, and at the same time, it can mean so many things. First of all, this is an artist, Shatawali, who for some reasons decided to have fun after his win at the tabia ghana music awards this gentleman decided to travel with his girlfriend maybe because he does not want to be roaming about here and there because we all know the story when some of our artists travel abroad or we all know the story when some of our people travel abroad not only artists even common people if you're not careful somebody will even come and give you trouble a lady in the name of coming closer, coming closer, coming closer. If you are not careful, somebody will come and give you trouble. And here we are talking about a celebrity. 
So imagine an artist who will be traveling alone, a lady comes to visit, pay, 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 pay. he's raped me, it's in the story. And this is where we are, London. Over here, things are not done anyhow. You have to do things well. So this guy tr- decides to travel with his girlfriend, and maybe one afternoon, they decide to just have fun. They decide to just have fun. Um, Satawale, like his usual, he has a way of um, connecting with his fans online. He has a way of linking up with his fans. And it is one of the things that keeps Shatawale's name always around. If you guys don't know, you should know today. And you, should, you shouldn't take it like the guy is just fooling. Because I know sometimes that's how people even um, say it. Hey, so now your artist is a comedian. Now you're... Yes, it is part of it. Take it or leave it. It is part of the kind of industry that we are in. If you are not careful, you'll be missing. That is why today, Every artist will come. They will make all the noise, do all the comparison, compare them to Shatawale. The next time they are gone and the guy is still there. He always feels like he's a fresh artist. Your artist will come, get a hit song. People will make all the noise about him. Pick, 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 pack, 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 pick, 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 pack. But the next day, he or she is gone, missing in action. You come back and Shatawale is still there. You come back and Shatawale is still active, doing his thing. Why do you think he has been able to do that consistently? It is because of some of these games that he plays. The fans always connect to him and he has been doing this beautifully. He's been enjoying all the benefits that comes with it. So, my brother, I'm not saying you cannot run your commentaries around it. I'm not saying you can't say anything around it. I'm not saying we should gag you from commenting or doing reviews about Shatawale's activities online. Nobody will do that. Never. In fact, when I say that, I'll even be a hypocrite. Like someone who does reviews on others' activities, and I'll say I'll gag another person from doing it on my artist. That would be so hypocritical of me. But in doing it, can we add some little bit of respect? In doing it, can we add some little bit of protection from the person's business? So... Shatter decides to do this makeup thing, all in the name of connecting with his fans, just to have fun, to make fun here and there. And instead of you to just laugh about it and pass, you take it, you make a a tweet about it, and you tag Beyonce and ask questions about, are you not the king king already again? Are you not the king already again? And now have you taken off your kingship or blah, blah, blah? Like, that was so unnecessary. That was highly unnecessary. Shatawale was doing more of these things, or maybe worse of these things, yet Beyonce came for him. You think those people don't know what they are doing? eh? Like you think Beyonce and Co, they will just come back and say, we want an artist in the name of Shatawale, and they they wouldn't do any research about him to know who he is, to know what he does before they will sign him. And now you are the one going to tell them that their, his kin or her kin is now what doing makeup thing on, on social media. Sometimes I wonder what you guys want to achieve. So what? So you tag Beyonce, then you achieve what exactly? Then you get what? What do you want to see? So he will say, okay, he's no more. Beyonce will come and reply and say he's no more his, her, her kin or what? Like, hey, Charlie, sometimes I think about, so you see, this guy, oh gosh. Hmm. I know when I say these things too much, some people don't want me talking about it. Um, shout out to Professor Ankunamu. But Prof, we need to talk. Oh. We need to talk. You see, I keep saying that everybody is human. Everybody has blood running through their veins. And the actions and inactions of some people go a long way to make them exhausted in this life. Guy wins artist of the year. People will not let him breathe. Go online, attack here and there. He decides to ignore all of these things. He decides not to be bothered. He decides not to be worried by all of these things. But he decides to make himself happy elsewhere with his girlfriend by doing this makeup thingy. And that one too, people have problems with it. You can have a problem with it, but to go to the extent of going to tag an artist, a world, a global brand that he's done a song with, you go to tag her. For what? To achieve what exactly? Hi! <sighs> Charlie, the negative energy at which we take, we use to do some of these things. You see, it is so obvious I understand our industry is divided on 
who is with you and who is not with you. That one, it is clear. We know all the top people in the showbiz space. We know where everybody is aligned to me. That one, I think I don't have a problem. Because I even believe that if someone doesn't want to roll with you, you can't force yourself to roll with a person. If somebody thinks that he does not have anything to do with you, you can't force yourself to roll with the person. So fine, you will not be able to roll with everybody. You will not be able to get information of every artist. Those that you are lucky to have information about them, go ahead and do what you want to do for them. Go ahead and project their works. Go ahead and throw some light on their, on, on their works. But those that you don't want to promote, those that you don't want to project, leave them and let them be. But you, you don't want to project someone, you don't want to promote someone, yet you also want to kill that same person. And that is one of my biggest problems. You don't want to promote the person, that's fine. Because maybe you don't believe in the ideologies and what they are doing, that is fine. Yet you want to destroy what they do. You are not part of their efforts. You are not helping them to build their effort, but you want to contribute in destroying them. Charlie, this is pure wizardry and witchcraft, as a matter of fact. And when they do it to Shatawale and he comes fight his own fight, once again, he will be mentioned. He will be called out. Why is he doing this? Why is he doing that? Yet, when people are doing it, it looks like nobody sees it. When people are doing it, it's fine. Tell it that was unnecessary, Olele Salvador, I think. That was highly unnecessary. Talk about it. Do your reviews. Mention Beyonce in it for what exactly? Why mention Beyonce in it for what? Once again, Shatter comes back and he's attacking you. And industry people who are supposed to do some of these talks will not see the side that Olele started, but they will see the side that Shatawali, because of course Shatawali has the numbers. The other day, someone was telling me, oh, it is because some people just spoke Shatawale. So when Shatawale responds to them, then they also get numbers. Yes, you get the numbers. But how long will you maintain that relevance? How long? We've seen some people who have done so many things about Shatawale, Shatawale coming at them. Today, where are they? In the industry, that's not how to build a brand. Though. You have to work hard. So if you think you are going to uh, attack somebody, destroy somebody, and when the person comes at you, you also get some attention. For how long? It won't take you anywhere, as a matter of fact. Well, guys, let me end it here. We'll surely meet again some other time. I'm out.